Hi there. Um, I am going to do the last two sections of my stacking box. Um, these will be easier because they're not as tall as the one below. And um, and I, I already got started. I, I um, rolled out a slab uh, here. And from that one slab, I cut the two top sections. Um, I used again my tape as my measuring length. Um, hold on. Hello? Um, so, so I used the tape again for the length, um, and then I used this top measurement for the two heights. So these are about two and a half inches each for my template. Yours might be different, or you might have done all three the same size. Definitely this bigger section is a little bit harder to control, making the whole project just a little more tricky to have that. Um, but I have these two bottom sections ready to go. Um, to stack I do had I did have one extra base ready so um, this is already somewhat leather hard and it's scored I'm gonna slip it and put it together and then flip it again and put the top on here um, and then this will fit onto um, this piece like this and then this inner circle becomes the part that keeps it from sliding off right that's what I was talking about so um, let's get to work okay so first things I'm gonna do here is I'm going to um, score and slip and put this together so I've already scored it I am going to slip it. I do have to pay extra click, a, extra, extra attention to making sure that it's centered, right? If it's not centered, um, when I put this on, then um, what will happen is the they won't stack straight. Um, they'll stack off center. So I really have to watch from the top down that I'm putting this on evenly and centered. And in fact, I use my lid one more time to help me um, kind of make sure that I've got it centered. So this lid comes in real handy again. I can just put this along here and then like it, this edge, this inside edge catches this. So I can use it to sort of uh, make sure that it fits perfectly and I don't know how I did it so well, um, but it is, on there in the center so I'm going to give it a firm attachment press and really kind of and again this is leather hard that's why I'm able to press as hard as I can um, right I need it leather hard to kind of hold its own weight um, as I work and again I'll fix this I can't really add a coil because then I'll change the um, you know the fit so then like, so then just so you're understanding where this goes and what's all happening, this, this is now leather hard, my um, first section, right? And I didn't clean this up, so don't blame me, but I will clean it up. I'll clean everything up. You know me, I'll finish it off real good. So then I want to make sure that this fits and lines up on this because then the next piece stacks on top of here. And the way that this top fits depends on how well this stacks so um, it seems to fit fairly well it needs to be pushed out a little bit oops tacky oops I need a little um I uh, pulled my joint away I know better I know better y'all but I did it anyway let's add a little slip in there and give it a little pressure as soon as I start sitting down to work, because there's my dog. There she goes. Wants to go outside. Daddy, can you wait? I'm gonna try to put that in there and fix that. It's like freezing outside. I know you don't really want to go outside.
All right. Um, so now this is this is set, and again, this gets flipped over, becomes the lid, the next piece gets stacked onto it. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to score around this edge here. I have to um, score. Now I'm going to um, bevel the edges of this like I did the last time and then score one side. So I'm going to put this out of the way. Um, one side I leave to the right to the edge and I hold I hold my knife I hold my knife moving in. And then here at this side, again, move you out the way. Um, I come from the edge and I fold it back down and then I <clears throat> angle it this way so that they're opposite angles. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to score along here on the bottom of just one side. <clears throat> Add my slip. Now remember the base is leather hard and the sides are not. So that means like there's some controlled drying you have to do. You really have to keep an eye on it. You want them to both become leather hard at the same time. So sometimes that just means you you put you like open up some plastic and put it in the base and let the top dry out. Um, sometimes so I'm gonna score under here and score up here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to um, put this on here, and this is the trickiest part is getting this up without. Um, warping it terribly and I just kind of peel it up the best I can um, excuse me oh shucks I'm gonna put this up straight like that and then um, move it along the edge so that it's straight up and down from the edge that nice perpendicular straight up and down is um, the key to success in this project. Um, again, just making sure that it's straight up and down, that I got a nice ability to adhere. matches up well it's, it's really close but it's not perfect that's funny must have measured a teeny bit off not not very much off but just a tad that's okay remember I put the um, stick straight up and down on the joint so that I have something to press against when I'm when I'm seaming this Push firmly down all the way along the edge. Use my top again to make sure that this top edge is round, that it's not too big. I'm straight up and down, so I use it to refit. Um, okay, now I'm going to add. Um, my coils and my joints 
and um, <clears throat> then I have one more section to do. I can't quite stack them until, um, like I can't stack the third one until the second one becomes leather hard. So it's not a bad idea to kind of um, Not a bad idea to um, watch a movie after you construct this. Just have them out there in front of you so you're like monitoring their dryness while you watch some good movie. Um, I am watching right now this series called Servant. It's on Apple TV, which I got a year of free Apple TV, so I've been watching it, and it's spooky. I like, I like scary movies. This is more of like a thriller or like a, it's not like a, a jump screen, but I do love jump screen. Uh, movies too. I don't know if that makes me weird, but um, hi. Oops, I do like the scary movie. And I'm really fun to go to the theater with because I do <laughs> scream and jump when things pop out at you. I have even been known to um, <clears throat> kind of hit the person next to me, which Lily, I see that you want to play. Okay. Add a coil on my joint, and then this case is going to be on the inside. Hi, baby. I see you here. I see you. I see you. I want you to know that I see you and I know that it's time to stop working. I know it. I see, yes, I see you. I do. I do. Okay, so, um, here we go. Again, I'm going to re-round the top, make sure it's um, rounded and fitting the right section. Um, and then I'm going to stack this on top of here and make sure that fits correctly. Um, it will need some sanding. It will need some tweaking to be perfect. Um, but it's not terrible. It does need some work around here um, when I refine. But I'm going to first, yeah, you can see there's like 
this needs to come in. <clears throat> But I need to do one more section um, and a lid, and then I will um, refine and glaze. So um, I'm gonna let my dog out. I'm gonna cut the top. I'll come back, build the last section, and we'll talk, okay? Hi, um, so I'm gonna finish the last section of my stacking box. And then I'm going to refine, um, refine it so that I can glaze it and start scruffy doing. Um, right now, just to move back a little, there we go. Um, I have two sections built. The section, the top section I had finished um, the sides, but I stored it because I didn't, um, have time to finish it at that point. So now I'm going to um, put this section on the base and then I have sort of the top portion of the lid which I will trim and then make the inside piece um, so that it becomes a, a functional lid. Um, so again I'm at the point where I'm going to um, assemble the base of this piece and um, add the add the sides <clears throat> and then I have some refining to do so see there's like a little wiggle room in this which is you know I'm gonna make that so it's a little better and it's it's a little more secure um, I will add clay so that it's a sort of a seamless thing and refine it um, I have a lot of smoothing and refining to do um, to make this look the best possible um, stacking. I don't know where I put my um, scoring rib. Actually, I've kind of misplaced it in all my things, so I'm going to just needle tool this. And score and slip this um, last base slash like it's the inside here. It's, I didn't expect it to be that much bigger, but it is. It's okay. So it's really score in there. Nice deep aggressive scores. I'm not scared to score. Not scared to score. It's a country song. Do, do. Look at the side I want to be. This is the quick zigzag score. It's like scribbling. Okay. Got a nice, good score. Gonna slip her up. this side. Center it. Push firmly to secure. Check for the center. It's looking good. I'm pretty happy. Now I'm going to do <clears throat> this side and 
space. So, um, dang it, I really wish I went. Where's my scoring rib? Score the edge here, score around here. I always score one direction and then the other when I have to do it with my needle tool. I don't like it. Now I need to score this section, this section, and then the base. Corners, we always forget to do like really well on the corners, but Lip a dip a doodle. All right, put this last section together. give it a good pressure squeeze and then line it up with the edges the best I can Squish down. I can even just flip it over. This is a little bit harder because I had let it, I had let the base sit out. So if you just made your this part the side, don't flip it over and try to push down on it. But I had made mine and it had been sitting <clears throat> on the inside in a curl so that it was um, hard enough to attach and again mine is kind of large so I might suggest to you that you maybe um, do this at a smaller scale again I'm gonna put this if you're struggling reduce your scale I'm gonna use this as a 
push against right for that seam. Really give myself a nice um, sealed seam, which I also put um, a coil in. But that initial push together is really good. And I'm just using this to push straight up and down. Keep it perpendicular. I'm making sure okay. coil time is hammer time. Again, this is just the back of a pencil. It works really well. Um, to add in smooth coils. That's if you don't like using your fingertip or addition to your fingertip like I do. Both. You also have wooden tools that work really well for this, but I just like them. they're in my garage and it's really cold in there right now, so It's actually not bad. I did a pretty good job. This is pretty much in the first stage of leather hard. So, um, Well, there are lots of refining things that will have to happen. 
but it's looking pretty good so far. Now I just want to try to um, fit my lid. Now I domed my lid um, using my Puke, and you can decide if you want to do that or not. Um, it's how I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to center it the best I can and I'm going to mark that because it needs to be trimmed. Maybe I needed to move it over a little bit, but okay. Let's see if it sits on there right. Looking good to me. Um, I just marked the back side because I'm going to trim it. Because um, I made it bigger than I needed to. So now I'm just trimming it based on that mark that I traced. Because um, I want it to go to the edge. Um, I don't want it to hang over. That's my personal preference. Yours might be different. You may want a hangover, but I don't I don't want a hangover. I want it to go straight up. So I'm trimming it and then I will add um, a coil in here um, and slip and score it here. But I still have to make that. So I'm gonna just trim this and um, refine and then I will make that and I'll have to let it leather hard before I can attach it. So I'm a little behind, like that piece isn't quite ready, but it will be. Um, I should have made it before, but I didn't. So, say la vie. So when I cut through leather hard, you'll notice that I'm not cutting through all at once, that I kind of score it and score it and score it until I go through. If I try to cut it all at once, I run the risk of cracking it. So I kind of work section by section. Slowly going through the clay. we go okay nice dome lid will need to be refined because I just cut it and it's you know so it'll need to be refined refound refined don't ask me not your English teacher um, now I'm gonna just clean up here um, like that <laughs> and I'm gonna start um, doing all the refining I need to do, um, which will start with the bottom section and work up. Just because um, that's how I like to do it. So I got my metal screen, and I'm gonna, um, I wanna keep this edge sharp, which is typically not how you wanna do ceramics. But this section is a little bit higher just because that's where. Um, I joined the two pieces so I'm just gonna sand that a little I'm gonna make sure it's round but I'm gonna keep it nice and square because I don't want it too rounded I want that that to almost look seamless when the pieces come together um, 
I'm gonna flip over, I'm gonna work a lot on this bottom here. <clears throat> really um, start refining. I'll have to fill in little areas and sand other areas. Um, and this might take me a long time. In fact, it will take me several hours. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and I'll come back in a little bit when I've um, um, when I've done quite a bit and show you the next stage. So at first I'm just gonna, um, work on sanding and refining the surface. <clears throat> 